Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM's Operation Starving Druid. Gotta take down a transmitter. Now remember uh, Raito Futo that has returned. Uh, overwhelming support in favor of keeping her. And I talked with some of the RP guys and we have a little bit of info to share about what's potentially happened to her. I'll read that as we're loading into the mission. Um, let's get going. Lefty, Tau, Rabbit, Superman, and J-Lo. Oh, it's Sky Ranger. I want to customize this thing. I have a great setup for it. I'm going to do that at the end of this episode. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Okay. By Reto Futo. I'm not dead. Not yet, at least. I promised him and the family I'd solve the problem, and goddammit, I'm going to do it. This setback won't stop me. Not until XCOM wins. I'll make sure of it. Even the dead wants you gone, you alien bastards. From my recap, Raito Futo, nicknamed Lucky Rabbit. During a recent scouting Very interesting. Also, in she's got some scarring. She's got some glowing eyes now. Weird. Yeah. We are going to do that. Let's go. Uh, I've been working with the creator of the uh, Bio Troopers. And uh, I think we've found the issue is that the spawn rates were really low in the config Advent files. We've recently turned them down quite a bit. And uh, we were able to modify them. Okay. We were able to modify them using the same mod list and uh, start a new campaign. And we were basically cranked them up to maximum and they were showing up all the time. So. It, it, the mod is working as intended, it's just really low spawn rates, so I think he might be changing that, but we'll see. Uh, we do have... okay. So we know where we need to go. I think we try and utilize this building four turns until disconnection. Oak says I am to obey. I've spotted an alien Okay. Patrol. Love it. Stun Lancer in there, I think, we saw. Uh, let's take this position. There's the objective. Okay, these we can take down. I think if we can, uh... It may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. I think we can probably make a Claymore play here, to be honest. Let's go on this side with Lefty. Uh, Tau, take this side. Raito Futo. On the move. And Superman, in behind here, I think, is good. Ooh, wait. Did that guy just jump there, or is this two groups? Okay, I think he jumped there. Uh, this side's open. Oh, right, and you know what? We have the, um... We have the faction order that makes the timer not start until we break concealment. That's so nice. So nice. Um, these guys are still fairly far back. If I can get Shazla on the wall for potential, like, two shots, that'd be pretty nice. Try to Futo in here. Maybe put uh, Superman on this wall. And then Lefty, we could maybe work like some weird flanky type position. Roger that. Alright, we've got him surrounded. They're definitely gonna move, but... We can probably chase this and fight here. They're likely isolated back in this section too. All right, JLo. Uh, unfor okay, this is this should be cover. Yeah, weird. My life is in your hands. All right, so we can claim or ah, oh, we can't really. Yikes, that's annoying. Well, we could take this opportunity to go high ground. Let me dash twice. And looks like we're finding something else. Oh boy. 
Okay, we got Max baby. This is an extremely Sniper Mac Lancer. Combat unit. All right. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Los, los, los. Uh, right of Futo, half cover is fine here. I don't really want to break the... Okay, let's go around this way. We'll take the half cover for now. We'll see. Now we're in a bit of a weird spot, but... I see everything. It would be nice to be able to use the Claymore and shoot it with JLo. Maybe these guys split. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, guys, right there. Just sit right there. I mean, this is not great. It's not the worst. All right, so we claim more. Um, we could claim more this group, but I kind of want to claim more this group now. And then if we could use. If we could use uh, Raito Futo to blow it up, that would be even better. I just don't know that I'm going to have the angle. I might have to go from this half cover, but he won't get revealed. It requires patience. Okay. We're going to have a couple of shots from here. I'm really hoping we can aim through the door with this. Heading there now. Yeah, we're good. It's a bit greedy. Let's just take this. We'll try and blow out some of this cover as well. Boom, boom, baby. Let's go. Okay. I see your play. Stunlands are up close. Don't like that. I think we have to take this one down. I might need to aid protocol somewhere. We have two shots with Tau. Let's see if we can hit this 62 with this on this trooper. Nice, nice Tau. Then, hmm. This would reveal JLo if I blow with that wall. But I think it's okay. Because then we could get the kill with Superman on this Lancer, and then Lefty can kill the mech. We'll have the Sectoid, but hopefully we can just deal with him. These other two I'm a little bit more afraid of. Surprise! They found us. We can go shotgun here too. That patience trying to get them back here, I think, is worth it. I got it, right? Uh oh, you know what I should do? Just because he's sitting in the open, and I don't know if this guy is... I don't know if we can trust this anymore. This new AI pulling some tricks. Because I, I just immediately default to, well, the sector is just going to try to mind control or do some insanity play, right? One down, thousands to go. Uh, we could overwatch, but I don't think that is actually going to matter. Mm. Let's 
Let's just take this shot. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporary. He's not backing delayed. down. He's going for it. He is going for the mind control. Okay. I don't belong here. So the panic is a little bit annoying, but well, if he triggers another group, that's even worse. That could have been really bad. Let's rock. 75 there. I think we come in for flanks on this. Then on to this. Settle down, big boy. Raito Futo, welcome back from the dead. Show him what's up. Still alive. I'm trusting you here. Pistol's fine. Oh! <laughs> Interesting position to aim at. I'm trying to kill him. Not remove his gonads. All right. These bayonets, these drop a lot. Dropping a lot of bayonets. Um, let me cycle back to this side until we can get our wits about us. Take out a couple of these bad boys. And then we'll conceal, go towards the objective. Uh, should I reload. To reload. Is my domain. Total, it is total darkness actually for us too. Can't really go up there. Can't see anything. As you order, Commander. Ready to engage. I'm gonna bring these guys Hold up, up for now. Got it covered. Already there. Until we know exactly what's going on. Seems like there's a lot of the little um, nodes that we can hit, so I'm not in a total panic scenario yet. All right, let's go hunting. Oh, hello, trooper, sectoid abductor. There we go, trooper. Purifier. Oh God. Visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. I wonder, I don't think we could get freeze from here, but let's get all these guys in close now that we know. Got it covered. Getting it done. Yikes. We have that frost bomb. That'd be pretty cool if we could pull that off. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, come towards me, my pets. Where's that purifier? Number one enemy. This is revenge kill potential. Well. We can get it. Can't ask for much better than that. Other than, you know, get everyone having shots on these guys. Uh, lefty. Let's come on up. What's over there? I think we go on the adductor first. We're going to have some time for them to just sit here frozen. That was actually really cool. That worked out great for us. I was a little concerned on that left side. Because uh, it was taking a long time to catch them. Who else do we have? Superman. 
Here, let's take this, because you have a weaker weapon. Yikes. That's fine. I'm okay with revealing here. Raito Futo comes back from the dead, makes an incredible. Advent has almost cut off the transmitter from incredible the freezing We're bomb grenade shot. Rock and roll. We just need the one proc on him, so. A little worried about that messing up our transmitter, but I think even if this thing was did blow up, I think it would be achieved the same objective. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. That transmitter. Beautiful. Is that was really nice. That was really nice. All right, MVP on Lefty. Yeah, I would agree with that. Pretty gnarly. We need a photo for. Uh, Rabbit, it's killing time. Yeah, welcome back. Look at the eyes. There's some scarring in there. Probably lost her glasses in the in the rubble. If you think about it. Very cool. Tell them to pose near an Advent Burger menu <laughs> for science, of course. Okay, Tigan. As we progress into uh, future months and start to hit like higher force levels we're gonna start seeing those crazier and crazier enemies there's only a couple actually that we haven't seen yet um that was the first abductor that we saw but we handled it it was really nice to not have to deal with a chosen just just for like one mission I'm okay with it Of work, Commander. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. All right, uh, let's get some promotions going here. Definitely remote start. I like. Tau. Hmm. Gain plus ten will and recover from confused, disoriented, stun, and panic conditions much faster than usual. I don't mind that. Flare is pretty nice, though, because it's free shot, too, right? Yeah, free action, three charges per mission. Minus 10 defense. Helps everybody. And Lefty, my man. My man. Mm, I think we go Revival. Yeah, this is good. Advanced Autoloader, Bayonets. Work. Nick Wolf is joining us. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Let's go meet him. Mr. Wolf. Nick Razor Wolf. Straight from the outbacks of the United States. What do we got here? Another infantry. I think, uh, let's continue. Man, I don't know. The extra crit's really nice, but... I just feel like this one we use more often. Maybe not even. I'm not sure. Playing it's a little safe there. All right, Nick was a typical. With all that's been was living a typical student life. Really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Okay, I think we changed his gun up there when we did that. Sometimes I like to do that just to ensure that everything matches. His gun was red, right? I'm, I'm probably created. Probably wasn't even close to red. I don't know what his pattern was, but he does have like the uh, what is it? Digital on his other stuff. So we'll go with that. All right. Nick was living a typical student life and was an avid watcher of online animated shows. 
creator of gaming videos, and the co-founder of the non-profit Guild of Geeks. Once the aliens won, Advin began cracking down on free speech, effectively destroying creativity and anything not approved by Earth's new leaders. That included both a bridge series of any kind, web series, and went so far to disband the guild, citing deviant behavior. That day, Nick's fragile mind snapped, denied one of his favorite pastimes, and stripping of, of his position of Grand Archivist for the guild, he joined XCOM so one day he might see the end of his favorite series and reform his non-profit to help fellow geeks. His squad thinks he's a little odd. Nice. Well played. Well played, Mr. Wolf. Well played. Welcome to the team, dude. Hope you have a fun time here. Uh, let's just look at our wound times. I mean, they were previously insane. They're getting back into, like, reasonable territory. Uh, we don't have... We don't have, uh, Deadput to really carry us right now. So we're gonna have to make do with other people. Um, so far not an official death on record. So that's nice. Do we want to bond these two? Tau and Superman. Double infantry. I don't know if that's a bond we want to make, because as we go forward, we might not be taking double infantry out all the time. So I'm going to hold off on that just a bit. Infirmary is up in seven days. Um, I did have... I can't remember the name, but somebody was asking why we're not... The aliens spending time at the Templar headquarters. This is the true voice of the resistance, bringing you the real news about the latest victory over the invaders. We're getting stronger every day, and XCOM is making that happen. Nice. Um, the reason is because there's so much stuff popping on the map right now that I just feel like our time was better spent elsewhere. I don't feel that the reduction, like, you have to spend a lot of time there to get the benefit, so... Uh, that's why I've been picking the other things. I'm just going to quickly show you guys. Where is... Where's... Where's Raito Futo? Am I blind? Yeah, I'm blind. Say, okay, look at the eyes now. Check it out. We've got the eyes, we got some scarring in there. I just wanted to show that to you guys. To get a good look at it. Good look at it. Okay. Let's go. So there's some supplies out there, which is, you know, like that's fine, but it's not a top priority. We are not We're gonna finish this relay. We'll see if these are available, unlock these missions. That will also get us um, machine learning with this relay. I shed blood in my master's name. We need access to facilities so we can control this a little bit. Speak of the devil. Commander, the aliens have made way over here. progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Yes, yes they are. All right, here we go. We got a faction hero, uh, Tiankin Pennington promotion, and Volkova. Extra mobility, cool. You know them as oh. they were, the soldiers of what? advent. That's now cool. they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. I love this look. My kind were once the puppets of Advent, slaves to the Elder's twisted vision. Now, slowly we are free, and all who see their bonds broken are driven to fight the Elders with a rage that cannot be stopped by our own hands. We will destroy all that the Elders value. If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, tell us what must be done. Well... <laughs> I feel like recruiting another Templar might be exceptional. What is this? Interchangeable upgrades. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. And we could just put lower level people in here. Um, where are we at in the month right now? 12 days to the next supply drop. So I can get, I can, I can do both of these. I can do both. What do we have for sergeants right now? I have three people available, so maybe we should do this first. We could throw one of these guys in. Um, I'm gonna send Tau. 
Actually, do we need the health boost on anybody? Lefty, you could argue, needs the health boost a little bit more. Um, but he's pretty flexible now with combat protocol, revival protocol. We do have flare on Tau. I think I'm going to send Tau. I'd like to keep Lefty rolling out in the battlefield right now. We have other infantry that we can use that are comparable. And then we'll throw in uh, a rookie for some experience here. Throw in uh, Amnesiac. We still have to replace Chi Ma. Don't worry, I have not forgotten about that. Negate the wound. It's potential ambush scenario here, though. Um, how is he loaded out? The old world assault rifle. I think that's fine. So maybe... Hmm. Maybe we should send somebody else that can fight. Why don't we send, uh, why don't we send Redifuto with him? I'll take the, I'll take the Frost Bomb. Just so we have a bunch of grenades. Because if something's behind cover, she could blow it, and then he could take two shots, potentially. Might help. He's got the scope. Let's go for it. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. All right. Uh, we also have a promotion now on Tiankum. Another Grenadier. Okay. Uh, we'll take it. Thank you. Uh, do we have somebody in training? We do. Psionics, right. Okay, that's Victoria Storm's guard. Okay, welcome back. I think we have one more rookie. Uh, okay, so let's put Crutch in. So what do we what do we need? We need a sharpshooter, big time. Um, that's the one. I said we were gonna go in order, so we'll do that. Even if his aim is not ideal, I actually don't know what it is. I'm just saying that we're gonna do it regardless. Uh, 65. Yeah, so it could be better, but it's cool. But if I find another rat okay, let's get this done. <laughs> a lot of action right now. Okay, so we need this proving ground up. I need a little bit more power. A couple of ways we could go about getting that. Uh, we could staff an engineer in here. Which isn't the worst option. I could build more power. But then we need to clear anyway. So I think... I think we'll put Judge in here for now. And we'll go with the tr proving ground, I guess. Yeah, we'll do proving ground here. Our next power will be in one of these. What I'm thinking is we could do... We could do it. We could do a workshop here to just free up, like to plug all of these. This would be power, and then we could staff that with a gremlin, and it would be pretty nice. Um, that's an option. It's an option. Resistance ring. I guess we can wait for viscer to be done. I was thinking maybe we take them out of this, but we want to finish that before the end of the uh, month. So. We'll wait for the infirmary to be done, and then we'll start clearing. It's only four days. Okay, let's finish this relay. Jeez, we just can't finish the relay. There we go. Research breakthrough is twice as likely to occur. So that's kind of like, it's a blessing and it's a curse. Because, uh... It can distract us from what we really need. Traitors who have left the surface of the elders are known to reside nearby. You would do well to distance yourself from these feckless creatures. There are a number of unusual energy signatures permeating this area, Commander. There we go. I'm seeing power fluctuations, intense heat, some psionic activity, all signs of a possible conflict. We should move quickly. Commander, you and I both know what Valen meant to our operation. She was our chief scientist, one of our most valuable assets. 
With your permission, I'd like to lead this operation personally. I was able to get you out of advanced clutches. Maybe I can do the same for her. So what I'm thinking is, when we hit six soldiers, that's probably a good time to try and take down that, um, the nest. I'm gonna go for the intel here. Avenger plotting new course. And then we can start expanding to that right side. Very nice. All right, infirmary's up. Now we could staff an engineer there, but do I, what am I gonna use this for? I guess for the um, training facility, but I'm gonna need power anyway. There is a faction card that gives us plus two power. I just don't know how much, I think it, is it three power that it requires? We'll start the excavation here so that we can build the training grounds and then we'll go down here for the, for um, power and workshop maybe. We'll just figure it out. All right. Improved cannons, very nice. We're quite fascinated. Love it. Autopsy is instant. Let's hit it. We need these mind shields. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. I should have probably done this when we knew that we were facing the Chosen, or the uh, Warlock Chosen. Both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Meg weapon still feels really far off. Um, this sword tech, I believe, is pretty strong, though, from the Celetids. I will Let's make grab that. Kazmarin is back. Dark event disappeared. Ho oh, oh, ho! Things are looking up! Extract the advent supplies. Might run into the assassin. Let's, uh, let's just back out of here for a second. Gone to ground. Is this the one that's showing, that's getting more chosen after us? Oh, no. Okay, nice. So the chosen one's actually gone, which means maybe we will be able to avoid them here. We'll see. Setting course for we do have to do the extractions on this supply raid, so that's a little tougher. Uh, by the way, I've added a couple of mods. Um, one for like a rewards deck refresher thing, that's not a big deal. One for um, additional sit reps, and one for the UFOs that can land uh, before we run into UFOs normally. I think we're using that in the last campaign, it's pretty nice, so. All right, let's uh, clear this out. Whew, these guys are back like very soon. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Um, let's bring our two top dogs here. Then let's bring Leighton in. We just got the remote start, which could be really nice out here. What do we want to do next? I think getting like a getting a ranger up there would be cool. I'm just thinking like in terms of long-term promotions that we need. Uh, we could bring out our new infantry. Or we could bring out uh, our akimbo down here. Blossom. As a squatty. She doesn't have the most amazing aim. That's the only thing. But we're gonna have to find her level somehow. Is there anything that we're drastically missing? Psionic would be nice. Stasis, Soulfire has some save potential. Or, you know what? Let's bring our new skirmisher. Boom. Yeah, problem solved. Okay. Uh, Kalina. Let's go. Hmm, yeah, let's stick with this. This is fine. We take the Frost Bomb. She does have uh, Heavy Ordnance, so we get two of these.
Advanced auto loader, maybe. Let's just hold off on that for a sec. Bolt caster and the med kit, I'm fine with. Vector rifle, fine. Liam, probably the scatter gun, I think, with that uh, crit add on. And let's throw the hunter's axe in. Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. The traditional sword would be cool too, but uh, Hunter's Axe, a little bit more damage, and we can throw it, so a little bit more flexible. And then let's go with mm, maybe a flashbang. And I think we'll go auto loader here actually. Yeah, cool. Okay, so Kalina, Lefty, JLo, Switch, and Loner. Wish me luck, guys. Uh, these <laughs> supplier admissions are historically tough for me. So we'll see. Um, wish me luck. We'll see you guys in the next one.